for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot, and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Libra might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take just a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon. I think you guys will like. Okay, so this reading is for August 11th through the 15th, 2020, keeping in mind that all tarot readings are timeless. So whether you come across this reading right after I upload, a week, a month, or even a year from now, if you feel drawn to watch it, most likely you'll find a message for you within the reading. Also, if it doesn't completely resonate with you, just keep the parts that do, disregard the rest. And if you know your other planetary placement, uh, you can listen to those signs as well for additional messages. Okay, so with all that little intro being said, let's go ahead and calibrate these cards to the astrological sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And ask our angels, guides, and ancestors for any love messages for Libra for the week of August 11th through the 15th, 2020. Spirit, what love messages do you have for Libra for August 11th through the 15th, 2020? Spirit, what love messages do you have for Libra August 11th through the 15th, 2020? And one more time. I think we'll be good. Alright, now we'll divide these into three stacks. bottom of the deck is the lovers yes it's in reverse I don't read reversals okay that's more of a little modern thing only the last few century and few uh, decades or so have been going on all right I read more traditional and you know there are a lot of readers who do read reversals and that's good for them but I, I just choose not to all right so we have the lovers as your overall energy for this spread okay now as far as lovers goes especially this being a love reading then you know I'm sure everybody's pretty happy to see it but with the lovers card there still comes some struggles all right and it's that that coming together that blending of two uh, different people two different backgrounds uh, two different cultures two different everything uh, even if you are of the same race and grew up uh, you might have different socioeconomic levels you might have different education levels uh, you might have different communication styles uh, the way your family raised you as far as discipline and things like that could be you might somebody might have been had really lenient parents and they might have really strict parents so you're still going to have to blend you're still gonna, there's still going to be some difficulties there but when you do you merge and make this whole new completely uh unique thing okay all right now for those of you who are new here i do four rows okay uh the first row pertains to you what you might have recently been going through uh things that um, you have uh been experiencing things that are going on with you right now and things and people and situations that are coming towards you the second row is the same thing only it pertains to uh, your beloved your intended twin flame soulmate karmic partner divine counterpart uh, maybe an ex uh, could be somebody you just met generally it's one that's on your mind the most the one you're thinking about when you wake up and the last person you think about when you go to sleep at night all right all right so yeah, a lot of the same exact cards are coming up that came up in the Virgo read, which is unusual. Uh, between the readings, I shuffle and shuffle and shuffle and I cleanse the cards, I uh, selenite, I sage them, all of this stuff. And, it's, and then you guys saw me shuffle there. And so I'm just going to go ahead and leave them anyway, all right? Because if they're meant to be there, they're meant to be there. And then uh, the third column is obstacles, challenges, fears, anxieties, and in your last column is your outcome. All right, now I've laid out two cards in each of the four rows, and I'm going to do this two more times, grand total of 24 cards. By the time we get to the end of the reading, we have a pretty good idea about what's going on for the next week or so. 
Alright, so we have the Queen of Swords as well as this Two of Pentacles. And this indicates that there is a feeling that somebody may have that you might just be a little bit cold. Maybe you've been like, uh, you've had these walls built around you. Maybe you, you know, you're blocking people from coming towards you. The Queen of Swords is somebody that's uh, experienced a great deal of sorrow in her life as well as maturity and lessons that are learned from that. And so you guys, <laughs> like the murder hornets are back. Yeah. Okay, sorry for the interruption. They're distracting me a little bit. Uh, I'm in this really old, the like 125 year old house, and I'm in an attic here. So uh, I, I don't know where they're coming from or how they're getting in, but yeah, they came up here earlier. So I thought I had them all out. All right, so. Uh, yeah, so you may be trying to eliminate people and you, you know, not only coming across cold and standoffish, but you are giving the impression that maybe you're egotistical or maybe that you don't care or uh, maybe that you are oblivious to other people's feelings other than your own. Okay, uh, it could be, you know, uh, some other things. It could be that self-preservation that's kicking in there. Now, with your partner, we have the Queen of Wands as well as this Four of Pentacles. Now, you could possibly be dealing with a fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and that can be really exciting for you. This is somebody that can offer you that sense of adventure. Uh, Aries is completely opposite of Libra on the astrological wheel. And in your, uh, you know, you have this feeling that uh, you don't want to... You don't really want to be attached too much. You feel like, you know, sometimes when you get into um, relationships, you you know it. I know it. I'm a Libra. I know. Cling to relationships a little more tightly than we should. Uh, maybe a little sooner than we should. But in this instance, it kind of feels like it might be all right. This could be you hanging on and them pulling you out of that little... Uh, shell you've been keeping yourself in, that cocoon where you've wrapped yourself up, where you're safe and nobody can get to you and hurt you. Uh, okay. Makes sense. All right. Now, in your obstacles and challenges, of course, there's been a lot of nights that you have been sad and sleepless and you might have been experiencing insomnia over the last six months or a year or however, and things have really worried you and kept you on your mind and it just seems like that no matter what the universe is offering you no matter what seems to happen coming your way you're finding that eh, and no thank you no nope, not interested don't want it you know and this is something that because it's in your obstacles and challenges and the things that are blocking you this is one of the things that you might need to work on to overcome because looky here you have this uh, the universe stepping in again and offering you this security. You have the Hierophant, which is about commitments. It's about marriages. It's about you know long-term relationship, which goes hand in hand with that Lovers card at the beginning of the thing. This uh, you know it's when you have this hand just right out of the clear blue. Here is uh, you know so, um, stability, uh, security. Comforts, things like this, things, you know, but you have to be able to uh, accept this. You have to be able to, you know, to, to not just cross your arms and say, no, I'm comfortable here. I'm staying here. You know, don't uh, be holding on to your old ways. Don't just uh, cling to these uh, ways of, <clears throat> you know, just staying stuck, just being stuck. And I don't see any hangman here yet, but yeah, it's feeling with that, with that, uh, Four of Pentacles that come in, you may really be clinging to uh, your uh, feeling of wanting to just be by yourself. You know, just like I said earlier, just making that safe cocoon at home, and uh, nobody can hurt you there. All right. Ugh. Okay. So I hope it doesn't come down here and sting me now that I shoot it away. All right. Uh, so. Obstacles. I mean, we're on the second set of cards now, and so for you, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. I really don't like that Seven of Pentacles. Uh, in your um, partner's column, we have the King of Cups as well as the Ace of Wands. Uh, the second, uh, in the third column, we have um, 
the Page of Pentacles and the Judgment. This is your obstacles and challenges. And in your outcome, we have the Nine of Cups as well as the Three of Cups. All right. So, yeah, is, this is things that, you know, you, you, you've been dealing with somebody in your past that has been uh, maybe a liar, a manipulator, uh, a thief. Uh, they, I always say this, okay, but yes, a thief. A liar is a thief because they're stealing your choice had you known all the facts when they misrepresent themselves to be something that they're not or they have some ulterior motive for getting into a, into a relationship with you the uh, eight of cups is about you know recognizing your worth and saying you know this is just not gonna cut it and I deserve better and I am worth more and I'm I'm gonna go ahead and walk away from the situation because I know that there's better out there. Uh, rather be alone on the journey than be with somebody who is going to manipulate you and, uh, you know, <clears throat> be dishonest. We'll just say that. Yeah, so you could have this water sign that's coming into your life as well. If you are putting yourself out there and you go about, you know, everyday life, uh, you know, you you end up attracting people into your life. And again, we have a uh, water sign. There's a lot of attraction that you are generating right now. And <clears throat> this King of Cups, okay? Uh, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio person might be entering your life. They might be someone that can offer you that, uh, you know, uh, a little bit of comfort. So it could be someone that's going to be more of a homebody and encourage that cocooning, that nesting that you've been going through, um, you know. And so that's, it's really feeling like you need more of that, uh, you know, that fire and that passion that's in your life right now. So uh, whichever one you're going to choose or if you just socially uh, socialize and, and uh Go out with either one. Get to, getting to know people uh, is like trying on those pairs of jeans, you know, and you just hundreds of them and none of them fit exactly the same way. So, uh, yeah, just because you date somebody doesn't mean you have to be intimate with them. It doesn't, it's, it's about, you know, getting to know them and you know, seeing which one is the best fit for you before you go any further with your emotions and your heart and your body. All right, so yeah, in the um, obstacles and challenges, well, we have judgment and we have this page of pinnacles. Now, again, you know, you could be having someone from your past reach out to you again. This is why you have this little resurrection of these lovers here. This is very possibly an earth sign. You have like almost anybody coming into your life right now. You've had fire signs, you've had water signs showing up. This page of pentacles is about the uh, communication, somebody reaching out, uh, you know, and because I'm saying uh, a lover from the past because of this resurrection going on here. This could be somebody who like suddenly wakes up and realizes that was the one that got away. That was uh, the person that they need in your life. So definitely you are, uh, uh, you know, giving the appearance and giving off and most likely because you are uh, someone that is ready to, uh, that has everything you need. You've pretty much learned all your lessons that you need to learn as far as uh, ultimately achieving a successful relationship. Although you're going to have to uh, curb that queen of swords just a little bit uh, so you don't come across as cold to uh, all these new suitors all right now yeah just you know relax enjoy yourself go out with your friends have friends over to your house uh, you'll you'll meet these people through connections through um, you know these you're not going to meet them knocking on your door, you know, staying at home. That happened to me once, and that was just, turned out to be really, really horrible. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> it was awful. All right. All right. So, six of pentacles as well as the moon. All right. Uh, the three of wands as well as the three of swords in your partner's column, the Seven of Cups and the Page of Cups, and in your outcome, 
we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Devil, and the Five of Wands fell out as well. Oh, bless their hearts. Okay. So, yeah, in the past, you found out things that you didn't want to. You felt as if you were the one that was giving and giving and doing all the maintaining of the relationship. That you really, uh, you know, you were the one that kept, if you hadn't been doing these things, the relationship would have fallen apart a lot sooner than it had. Uh, you know, you you have uh, come to realize that this person, this um, that liar, cheater, manipulator person, wherever did they go? Yeah, yeah, here it is. Who said Seven of Swords? Yeah, you found these things out. You found out. You might have found out after the fact, or it might have been the reason why you did walk away. But you know that there was better for you, and you did walk away from that. Now this person is, uh, you know, this person is uh, trying to resurrect themselves back into your life. This um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn person, and they may not, you know, they may have had personal growth themselves. They may have moved on, but it's something that they're really and truly going to have to prove. A person's moral character, unless something just really, really earth-shattering happens, they generally don't change. They can make the effort. It's like being an alcoholic or any other substance abuse addict. Uh, you're constant. It's constantly there, and you're constantly having to fight that. So whether you want to deal with uh, like a serial cheater, a uh, serial, uh, you know, you know, toxic person, again, uh, yeah, it's probably not the best thing to do. So yeah, you're going to be reminded that, that yeah of all these heartbreaks that you had with this person previously and uh, deciding not to go there and it shows that you are definitely going to continue to wait for the one that is the best for you. Uh, yeah, so we have this page of cups and we have and we have this Seven of Cups here. Now, this Seven of Cups is telling me that, you know, you did get the Lover's card at the beginning of this. There are a lot of challenges here. You are having a lot of suitors coming forth. Trying to choose exactly which one that you want is going to be difficult. Uh, be sure that you don't, like, overindulge or involve yourself in things that you wouldn't normally do. But, you know, still have a nice time and enjoy yourself and figure out what it is you want. Continue to put this love out there into the uh, universe. And, uh, you know, you won't have to wait too long, okay? This, you know, this waiting that you've been doing for, the, for this person to show up. All right, yeah. We have the devil. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. This person from your past, this uh, earth sign that we're talking about that's trying to re-center uh, themselves into your life. <clears throat> like I said, they, they had some toxic elements to them. Uh, they're trying to like creep back in. You know, maybe they just want to be friends. Or maybe they just want to meet and have coffee or maybe they just want to you know visit you for a little bit they're trying to needle their way back in and to inch their way back in this night is very very slow moving energy when you actually do spend just a little bit of time with them you're going to uh, have this little uh, pettiness you're going to have uh, little arguments and things uh, spring up that are going to uh, remind you of uh, the reason why you're not there anymore. I'm going to pull a few extra clarifiers from the Angel Tarot by Radley Valentine. She used to uh, work with Doreen Virtue, and Doreen Virtue, as we all know, is no longer involved with tarot or anything like that. But I'm just going to uh, just randomly pull a few um, clarifiers here. And um, it, they're uh, like tarot card, they are, this is a tarot deck, it's not just an oral deck oracle deck, but it's a combination of a tarot and an oracle deck at the same time. I'll show you in just a second if, you don't, if you're not already familiar with the deck. Uh, the artwork is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break the deck and it's the, um, put these on. It says Page of Fire, which is the Page of Wands, Outgoing, Creative, Confident, Mischievous. 
uh, news of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. This one has a dragon on here. Now, if any of you uh, have dragons as your power animal or you're born in the year of the dragon or anything like this, this card will particularly uh, resonate with you or have a message for you that you should uh, think about. Uh, the, you know, starting new endeavors, um, finding a new creative outlet for yourself, things like that. And I'm going to go ahead and just pull one more. Okay, it's another it's another fire. Let me put these back on. Okay. It says, uh, motivational, idealistic, ambitious, and charismatic. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. Okay. Here's the beautiful picture again. Can you see it? Too much light reflecting on it. Yeah. Super pretty, super pretty artwork. All right, so that is your reading for uh, the 11th through the 15th of August, 2020, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I want to take a second and thank you so much for all of your comments, likes, shares, and subscribes. And I'm going to put these down. <laughs> all right, yeah. And I will see you guys here next week for uh, your weekly update. And until then, I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.